In this video, I'm going to work out an um, individual derivative here. It is going to be a trig derivative, all right, and um, it is going to have a chain rule in it. And the main part, um, I think, on this one, the only reason why I think that makes this so difficult is you have to have the derivative of cosecant memorized. Derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So I put that up there just for a reference because eventually we will need to get there. All right, if we're doing a trig derivative and if it's going to have some chain rules in there, we definitely need to see where the inside function is and where the outside function is. All right, right here I've got a cosecant squared x. All right, I generally have my students rewrite this so that they can really clearly see what that 2 is. That 2 is saying that I've got cosecant x times itself. So I'm going to do an algebraically, you know, rewrite here. So I've got a cosecant of x, all right, and then to the second power. All right, just moving that out so that I can clearly see my inside function is cosecant x, my outside function is something being squared. All right, now we're ready to start taking the derivative. So we'll do the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to. All right, I want the derivative of the outside function, which is power function. So I just got to pull that 2 down in front. Leave the inside function alone. So cosecant x. Subtract 1 from that exponent. And then, because I've got an inside and an outside, take that chain rule and take the derivative of the inside function, which is cosecant x. Okay, I always do use that uh, ddx notation in case that there's multiple chains. You won't drop any of your chains that way. All right, everything up to this point is all going to stay the same. So I'm just going to have a 2 cosecant x right there. Now I'm going to take the derivative of this cosecant and you have it memorized hopefully as this. So I'll have a negative cosecant x cotangent x. And at this point then it's just a matter of cleaning your answer up so that it looks a little bit better. I can take the negative and the 2. I can pull that out in front. I'm going to have 2 cosecants so I can write it with a squared and I can do it like they did here so that it, you know kind of matching the format of the original um, problem and then having that cotangent on the end. So negative 2 cosecant squared x cotangent x. Okay, there we go. So negative 2 cosecant squared x cotangent x. All right, so actually a pretty straightforward trig derivative with some chain rules. All right, hardest part maybe would be recognizing what you actually have to start with and then also having that particular derivative memorized, which does seem to be harder for some of my students. Definitely, thanks for watching. Um, the videos are intended for um, beginning stu uh, calculus students all the way up to advanced students, so this would clearly be at the very beginning of your derivative sections right after you've learned your um, chain rule. Thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.